this is super, super useful for damage on vehicles, for like markings on the ground, anything that's within arm's reach. So anything you can pick up the camera and kind of walk around. Photogrammetry is especially useful. Uh, really, really good uh, for those types of things. And, um, you know, of course, uh, drones have really had a massive impact on photogrammetry. And uh, I give credit to a company like Pix4D when the sort of the, the drones started taking off, uh, that company, you know, took advantage of the fact that people are now getting a camera in the air. And so those photos we can process and turn into 3D models, right? Whether it's a roadway or, you know, a, a topography for, you know, geology, like whatever, whatever it is, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do here. But um, here's a quick example. So this is actually a, a reconstructionist who did, who did my class not too long ago. And uh, I think this was actually before he took the class. And so he called me and he says, I got these cars and I want to photograph them. He says, I want to, I want to create a model. So we were on the phone. I explained to him how to do it. And the first time um, he took the photos and I helped him process these because he didn't know how to process at that time. So these vehicles are not together, right? They're apart. So what we're able to do is look at the vehicle engagement, uh, creating two separate models. And once you have those models, you bring them together and you align them, you know, as they would have been uh, during, the, uh, during the collision or during the accident, okay? And so that's what you're seeing here. I love photogrammetry for stuff like this, right? Looking at damage, looking at these little details that, you know, would otherwise be lost, or maybe you can't just get a sense for it in uh, a photograph. And so sometimes with things that have depth, when you take a picture of it head on, you can't really make out the depth or how something is, is bent or deformed. And so being able to look at it as a 3D model means that you can rotate it around, you can look at it at, at different angles and different perspectives. And so being able to see things like this, the deformation and stuff is super, super useful.